This Spider-Man annual takes place between issue 28 and issue 29. The Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 2 The Wondrous World of Doctor Strange There are 8 million stories in the big city, but you've never seen any like this one. As the shades of night begin to fall, a silent figure prowls overhead. Thus does your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man make his appointed rounds. Everything is quiet so far. I might as well have stayed home with a good book, or even a bad one. This is really Dullville. I can't even find a litter bug or a jaywalker. On a night like this, I feel about as useful as a secondhand tube of dinosaur repellent. Well, I might as well look at the bright side. At least this is keeping me out of the pool room. Maybe I can help a little old lady cross the street, so the evening won't be a complete waste. But, in another part of town, a situation is about to develop, which will soon embroil the costumed teenager in one of the most fantastic battles of his life. Let's watch this tall, silent stranger as he walks toward the unknown. A typical barroom brawl. Perhaps here I shall find what I seek. Who savage bullies. Powerful, rough, proud of their strength, and sorely lacking in intelligence. They will do just fine. We said we could look any man in the place, and we meant it. Phew, it would take a regiment to stop those two. They're like a couple of tigers. Seconds later, after the festivities have ended. You two, come here. I have an offer to make you. Get lost, creep. Crawl back into the woodwork. That was too easy. We should have had another dozen guys to toss around. Hey, are you still around? We told you to get lost, didn't we? You fools. It is I who give the orders. It is you who shall obey them. I have decided that you shall both work for me. Work? Hey, did you hear that awful word he used? I wonder what it means. He's asking for a fat lip, and he'll get it soon as I stop laughing. But suddenly, the low-voiced stranger's eyes seem to burn with an unearthly brilliance as a hypnotic bolt of sheer force blazes out, shattering the air about him. Silence! When Zandu commands, others obey. My will is your will. Thus speaks Zandu. Your will is our will. Zondu must be obeyed. I shall give you power greater than you have ever dreamed of. And in return, you shall serve only me. Under my hypnotic spell, you will feel no pain. You will fear no foe. And now, to test my control over you. Strike with all your might. Good, good. You obeyed instantly, and under my spell, he felt nothing. The blow did not affect him. Now you, your hand is a bar of steel. Strike the heavy oak countertop. Shatter it with one blow of your steel fist. Thus speaks Sandu. Thus speaks Zandu. Then, satisfied with the result of his hypnotic handiwork, the man called Zandu walks back from whence he came, followed by two powerful, hulking beings whose only will is Zandu's will. Moments later, in a strange candlelit chamber, Zandu holds aloft a shimmering, gleaming object. At last! I have two servants who will obtain the other half of this wand for me. 
For he who possesses both halves of the Wand of Watum possesses the greatest power of all. This missing half of this enchanted wand was taken from another dimension by the master of the mystic arts, Dr. Strange. But once I wrest it from him, it is I, Zandu, who will be master of the mystic arts. Indeed, I shall be master of all. Now go, my unwitting slaves. It is you who shall defeat Dr. Strange for me while I guide you on your quest through the power of my hypnotic eyes. And now, as you might expect, we turn to Doctor Strange as he silently studies a sacred scroll in his shadowy Sanctum Sanctorum. On the surface, this is an ancient recipe for borscht, but if I read between the faded lines... Suddenly, his keen ears detect the sound of double doors slamming open, and then... Intruders! Invading my privacy! They shall pay dearly for this affront. One simple spell will serve to... No! My spell is useless! Their minds are blank! Empty! They're under control of another! But... Who... I must gain time, time to ponder this puzzle. I'll create a multi-figured illusion to distract them, to keep them from getting within striking distance of me. But Zandu, who is present through the power of his hypnotic eyes, can detect the true Doctor Strange as he guides his two human cats' paws. My illusion does not fool them. There is no time for further evasive action. I must do battle, but their strength is inconceivable. Ooh. Within seconds, the valiant master of the mystic arts is downed, lapsing into unconsciousness as his enchanted amulet protects his stilled figure from further harm. Well done, but now he is of no further interest to us. It is the wand. You must find the other half of the wand of Watum. It must be locked somewhere. Smash open every cabinet until it is found. Thus speaks Zandu. Wait, search no longer. The fates have smiled upon me. There it is. We found it. And now, for those who may think we've forgotten what magazine this is supposed to be, we offer proof that we do remember. Because here comes Spidey now. Those two figures stealing out of a skylight. Obviously burglars. And yet, they somehow seem like sleepwalkers. I knew if I swung around long enough I'd find something to break the monotony. Stay where you are, boys. I'm in the mood for a summit conference. It's Spider-Man, but we've come too far to be stopped now. He cannot hurt you. Smash him. Hey, are you guys kidding? Taking a poke at me is like instant annihilation. But I guess you want to be able to brag to your grandchildren that you were once knocked out by Spidey. So, here's your chance. Say, what gives? It's like hitting a stone wall. They don't even feel it. I must be slipping. But I know my punches have the same old whammeroo in them, so it isn't me, it's them. I'm fighting a couple of walking powerhouses. That's it, keep swinging. He can't keep dodging four tireless thrashing, pounding fists. They caught me flat-footed. I'm off balance. I can't get away. Woof. I'll never complain about catching jaywalkers again. I've got to get some time to catch my breath. A little dose of quick stick webbing ought to slow him down. That webbing is like tissue paper. Your strength can tear it with ease. Rip it apart, now. That sinks it. I'm not fighting any ordinary hoods. These two lovebirds have super strength and are immune to pain. Ugh. I wish I were. 
Even my own spider strength can't take a beating like this forever. I... I'm starting to black out. Everything's spinning around. Thus, a few seconds later... He is of no further concern to me. Return at once with the other half of the wand. Thus speaks Zandu. They're leaving, but I can't let it end this way. I must make sure I'll be able to find them again. And my little spider tracer is just the way to do it. I've got to be able to reach them. I've just got to. Did it. Now, no matter what happens, after I've rested up, I'll be able to find them. In time for round two. And moments later. The other half of the wand of Watum, at last. Joining the two glowing halves with trembling fingers, the evil Zandu finally holds the complete object in one hand, feeling a new surge of sheer power pulsating through the very fibers of his being. It's the greatest source of mystic power ever possessed by one man. And it's mine. Mine! With this wand, I can open the sealed doorways between dimensions. I can create passages to other worlds, other times. I can see any place, any object, any person I think of. There is Doctor Strange, still unconscious. Even he can no longer threaten me. Now that the wand of Watum is mine. With one single thought, I can destroy that statue behind him. Nothing is safe from me, so long as I can conjure up its vision within the scene my wand creates. Slowly, inexorably, relentlessly, I shall destroy my enemies, one by one, until none remain to defy me. And Doctor Strange shall be the first to become my victim. And so engrossed is Zandu in his own sinister plans that he fails to notice the dramatic figure who silently slithers along the wall outside. A dabbler in black magic. I should have guessed that some such power was behind the two who fought me. Then, as the amazing web spinner draws nearer... Wah! Spider-Man! Congratulations, you just said the magic word. Well, you didn't know when you were well off. That's a failing we Spider-Men have. If you're determined to hit me with that thing, I'm afraid I'll have to take it away from you. Caught by surprise by Spidey's sudden maneuver, Zandu drops the enchanted wand as the quick stick webbing covers his eyes, obscuring his vision. My eyes! I... I can't see! But in the next split second, Zandu lashes out with a mighty spell, an incantation of such force and power that the very walls begin to shake. Demons of darkness, in the name of Satanish, by the flames of Faltine, let Spider-Man vanish. It... it is impossible. And yet, unless I've lost my mind, I'm actually fading away. There, I freed myself of his webbing just in time. Spider-Man shall never interfere with me again. Don't bet on it, Bright Eyes. If I've got to go, I'm taking your little doohickey with me. No, stop. You mustn't. I'm too late. He took it with him into the unknown dimension which I banished him. But I'll get it back. I must get it back. And you two shall be the ones to do it. Meanwhile, a startled Spider-Man finds himself in a place which could serve as a stage setting for Alice in Wonderland. I... I don't have any idea where I am. But one thing is for sure, it's gonna take more than a 15 cent bus ride to get me back to Forest Hills in New York. Anyway, I'm glad I grabbed this crazy wand. If there's any chance of finding me, Zondu is sure to come after me now. Well, well, here comes the two happiness boys. 
Zandu certainly didn't waste any time. Now that I know what you're after and where you get your power from, I'll be able to put up a better fight. Or have you already noticed? I'll have to keep this up until they head for home and then try to follow them. At least you guys don't try to talk a fella to death like some others I've fought. Meanwhile, in his mystic retreat in Green Witch Village, Doctor Strange finally recovers consciousness. My half of the enchanted wand of Watum is gone, so that's what they were after. But it must be found. Its power is too great to be allowed to fall into other hands. Thus, the power of my amulet shall guide me to the one I seek. I shall take my magic cloak of levitation and follow no matter where the trail may lead. Then, in the name of the all-seeing eye of Agamotto, the wand shall be retrieved, though the vipers of Valtor themselves may block the way. Meanwhile... This is ridiculous! Here I am putting up one of the greatest fights of my star-studded career! And there's no one around to applaud and cheer. And what's even worse, these two animated punching bags don't seem to feel a thing. Keep fighting! He has to weaken soon! Good! Good! You almost seized it then! Once they retrieve it again, I shall bring it back from the beyond, and supreme power shall be mine once more. Never, man of evil, not while Doctor Strange lives. You! You found me! But how? Many are the powers of the master of the mystic arts. Bah! Words alone cannot defeat me. Here within the walls of my own sanctum, it is Zandu who is the master. Not so, betrayer of the sorcerer's code. Without the element of surprise in your favor, see how easily I shatter your crude, defensive spells. It is true. Alone and unaided, my power is no match for his. Surrender now, I command you. Soon the fury of my attack shall be so strong that nothing can stop it. I must do as he orders, or... No, they are here. I am saved. Now I am the master again. I had to let them get me in order for them to bring me back. But now, I've got to find a way to escape anew. What have we here? There is more to this affair than first I suspected. Perfect. Strange is momentarily startled. I must move quickly while I can. And now I shall relieve you of that wand. For the last time. Dispose of him now, my witless ones. He has served his purpose. Oh well, here we go again. As for me, with the aid of my enchanted prize, I shall destroy Doctor Strange forever. He now holds the complete wand of Watum, making him the most powerful of all who practice the mystic arts. Even my strongest defenses are as nothing to the awesome force which Zondu now controls. I cannot do battle like this. I must find another means, if I am to endure. Your moments are numbered now. Victory is mine. He thinks me defeated. I must leave my physical body and return in my ectoplasmic spirit form. Then, perhaps, the element of surprise will favor me. He uses his new power to search for me. I must act before he finds my body. I must find the one called Spider-Man. Perhaps, with his aid, we may still prevail. He fights valiantly. 
But even he cannot realize that his foes are merely human machines, completely unbeatable while under Zondu's control. I must plant a thought in his mind, a thought which can save him. The wires behind you, grab them, let them touch at the proper second. At the urging of Doctor Strange, the lightning-fast reflexes of Spider-Man, the brilliant brain of Peter Parker, grasp the thought in a split second, and then... He did it. He gave them a powerful electric shock just as they closed in for the final assault. Hey, what gives? What's going on here? Search me. How'd we get here? And... Why am I so blamed tired? It was the only way to release them from Zondu's spell. They will not trouble you again. I'm still not sure what this is all about. But if that creep Zondu is behind it, then he's for me. Spider-Man is no match for the mystic power of the Evil One. I must find a way to aid him further. First, I must assume my physical self again, without a second to spare. If I do not reach Spider-Man's side in time, it could be fatal. Okay, Zondu, now it's just you and me. But not for long. When I finish using my mystic wand, it shall be only me. But at that split second, another spell is hurled between the two antagonists. This can only be the work of Strange. He still lives. My power is the greatest, and yet I am confused between Spider-Man's web and the spells of Doctor Strange. I do not know where to turn first. That's it, Spider-Man. Keep moving fast. Keep him off balance. It's our only chance against his deadly wand. I hear you talking, Doc. This is beginning to feel like old times. Good shot. You caught his legs. He's tottering. This is our chance. It isn't fair. I... I haven't time to think. My hand! Strange cut it in a spell! I dropped the wand! Oh no! No! Without it, I'll be lost! I've got to get it back! So long as I have it, I... That webbing! I can't move my hands! Stay where you are, Zondu! The charade has ended! Your power has vanished! Wah! What will become of me? Before you answer his queasy question, what do we do about this gadget? I realize now that the Wand of Wartum is too potent, too menacing to ever fall into other hands. And so, my mystic amulet will drain every bit of power out of it, until all that remains is a harmless, simple ornament. The threat of Watum exists no more. And now, by the hoary hosts of Hoggeth, I order you to unlock your brain, so that I may learn all that exists within your past. Ah, it is revealed to me. You were a student of the mystic arts. You learned of Watum's wand and of its power. You stole your half, and once you knew that I had the other half, you plotted to seize it from me. Now I grant you the gift of total sleep. When you awake, your memory shall be cleansed of all that has happened. Your evil ambition shall have faded forever. In the name of the omnipotent Ashtur, I so declare it. You have accredited yourself well this night, costumed one. The friendship of Doctor Strange will be yours, whatever befalls. Much obliged, Doc. After what I've seen, I sure wouldn't want you for an enemy. May the Vishanti watch over thee. And may your amulet never tickle. The only thing wrong with this evening is, when I wake up tomorrow, I won't believe a word of it. 
The end. Here comes Spider Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing up from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes Spider Man.